Are you rolling? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Mm. Okay, so this is soaked for a couple hours. Uh, I'm just gonna. Sh I'm not gonna do the whole thing on the video because you don't need to see all of it. But yeah, that's right. We're gonna clean it. Okay. Yeah. Elisa's felt it. All right. So you're gonna take the snake brush and can you uh, focus right on the end of this pipe here? Because I'm I'm just gonna show you why we're doing this. Watch all the crud that's about to come out. Ready, and poof. I don't know if you could see that or not. Yeah, poof. But there's just kind of, it looks like dust coming out of it. It's just filth. Oh, let's see if I can get in the light a little better. That's all right. It's gross, trust me. Um, all right, here, one more time. That's all right. Um, this horn obviously has not been done in a long time, so I'm going to have to do this over and over again for a while um, until that crud stops coming out. But that's basically what you do. And you're going to do that to each of the pipes, including your tuning slides, stuff like that. The nice thing about the snake is that I'll show you here so you can see it better. Um, push it through and it goes all the way out the other side. If you do that underwater, ooh, that was gross. That was a lot of stuff. What do you think, Elise? Plastics. Yeah. Is that gross? Gross. Say, oh, gross. Oh, gross. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so, ooh, oh, there's a lot in there. Um, for the valve casings, again, you can use an old toothbrush. Just make sure it's thin enough so that you don't bang up the inside of the valves. This is a, uh, what do you call it, a uh, clarinet mouthpiece brush that works just fine. But you got to be careful. The, the metal part here, you really can't scratch the inside of the valve casing with that. And uh, I'm put my hand underneath it so it doesn't bang against the bottom of the tub. I'm just going to kind of... Do like that. Both sides because the brush isn't very long. And um, that's basically it. Uh, run, just run the brush through everything that will fit in and uh, also the, while you're here you can do the valves. With this again, you gotta try really hard not to scratch it. This is very hard to do without scratching. But basically, I'm flossing out the uh, flossing out the valve ports with this. The um, snake brush might actually be easier to use. The tip of the brush. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. All clean. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, that's the idea, and then you just put it back together with your slide grease and your valve oil and like that. Um, and that's kind of, that's it. That's how to give it a bath. Um, the more you keep them clean, the longer they're going to last and the better they're going to work for you. That's why we do this. So, uh, yep, that's it. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, Ellie. Bye-bye. <laughs>